Hey guys, back again with another tutorial. This week is the female gnome. Now, nice. I am no female carving expert, but uh, I think we squeaked by. I've been doing this all week long. <laughs> been doing this all week long, and uh, I think we got her nailed pretty good. They're not the most feminine looking women, but uh, hey. Give them a dress and a, a dress and a chest, and uh, <laughs> they're unmistakable. So we're gonna attempt to uh, carve ourselves the little the little gnome woman today. So let's get at it. And of course, as we do, let's mark some centers on here, all the way around. We'll go right across the top too, just to you know where. Our, tip of our hat goes there we go so right off the bat we're gonna mark some measurements on here right from the bottom here let's just mark three quarters of an inch which is about 22 mil inch and a half about 38 mil two and a half about 64 mil and then on just on the one side only we're gonna mark about three and an eighth which is about roughly roughly 80 mil all right that top one there let's just put a nose on that right away so that we know what uh, what we're talking about the first mark here is basically the bottom of the butt and the flat part of the dress here all right so give her the the butt on the back all right next one here the inch and a half we're not uh, we're on both sides here that's basically bottom of the chest and the elbow all right the next one up here is the uh the hair hair slash shoulder see that so we're only gonna do that on three sides we're gonna leave the face open all right so let's mark that all the way around and really from there we're not going to measure anymore. Let's just go ahead. Let's mark the butt on here. Just take these corners out. I'm making these angle cuts basically center of the line. And really, either way, no big deal. But, all right. So take some of that off of there. All right. Bring her up. And that's basically her butt marked all right we'll take the we'll round it later and then let's go up to the uh the shoulder slash hair we'll do the exact same thing angle cuts all the way around leaving the uh leaving the front face alone but then we'll just come across Just getting everything marked in here. Right. Nothing is uh, nothing is important. Just roughing roughing her in. Okay, so that's her shoulders, bottom of the hair, and we got her butt. All right. Now we could have went across the back here with that, but basically, if that's the corner of the elbow, I'm going to take the space out from the back side okay so go on one side go on the other side and then right across all right so there we have the back of our arms later to be the back inside all right so we can take a little bit down to the butt here too but we won't get carried away with that just Keeping that uh, just keeping a bit of an angle back so that the elbow looks like it's sticking out. Right, I'll clean that up just a little bit, a little bit rough. Right. Okay, there we go.
Now, before we get too carried away here, let's get rid of some of the bulk on here because it's bobbing the nose here. That hat is basically all this has to go. All right. So if we just come up a little bit roughly, we're going to fine tune it later, but let's just get rid of these corners here. They're hard to grab onto. We know where our center is, so as long as we're just above that, we'll be taking a lot more off later. And I know uh, this is a difficult taking big chunks like this, so if you just want to uh, work from one side to the other side, then take the middle off, smaller knife. You don't have to take these big, big bites off like I am. Just rough and area. When I was making all these ladies here, I had bruises on the inside because I was kept holding the hat like that and squeezing it so hard with these angles sticking in my hands. So nice to get some of the some of the angles off. All right, but the face here, we can take these corners off here too. You can see these two lines here. There's nothing wrong. There's no, no harm right now. And just kind of rounding that to each line either. You know? and we'll do the same thing on the front. But I want to set the chin in on the front. Okay. So if that's our nose. Our chin is pretty much across there. But let's... Uh, like so all right now let's stop right there for a second I can take all this just like we did on the back from this line to this line we can shape that right over to that center line it's not a you don't have to do a perfect angle just kind of rounding it I'm going to leave those lines that we can always see them for now. But now we'll leave our head alone. Come back, clean that up again. So what we've got here, let's get one of these girls over here. We can see this line is the, uh, we're going to cut that chest back, all right? see that all right so depending on how old or young <laughs> you can you can do a long slope down or you can be a little bit more perky but let's just cut this chest back a bit get that chin set in there more all right See that? Okay, let's draw these arms in here before we lose our lines. But I'm going to stay a little bit ahead of this center line here. I'm going to come down to that cross section there. We've already got the back of our arm set there. All right, and we're going to come down just to that corner like so. We can even go up a little bit, but all right. And this is basically going to be the hands in the in the side, right? Just like that. So pretty simple if you got your lines drawn on all around. And then the back of the arm, just going to give it a, a good finger it's width there. All right, see that? How that ends up. So I'll cut in one side. And like I did before, I'll do this side and then I'll do the other side. All right. So we're going to dig that in fairly deep. We want to go, we can bring that right up to the edge too, since this isn't squared off yet. Stick that knife in, get her in there. Better to do 
multiple cuts rather than to chip away back and forth. All right, now I'm just going to come across with my knife and pop that chip out. See that? That's our arm. Okay. Now, of course, we're going to come from the center. We're going to come across like this, over, like so. All right, and we'll work on that later. But I'm going to go ahead. Might as well do the back side here too. It's going to go down that back line. I know this is my elbow, so I can cut that line in there. All right. And really, I'm just kind of aiming to that line. Okay, a little bit more in the front here. See that? I'll just come from that line to that line. All right. Then I'm going to come up here, take a slice out of there. And then we're just going to kind of bring that around and join those two. All right. There you go. Clean that up a little bit after, but. All right, I'm gonna do the other side and I'll come back. All right, there we are, matching arms. Got the shoulders cut in the back, so we can just, uh, let's just kind of put in that butt again. All right. Come across this way. that up a little bit there. Alright. A little rough still, but okay, and then we can just we can just round this off. Round it off or uh, go with the flat planes. What I do back here. Just kept her flat so keep some flat planes on here but yeah that's pretty much it for the, the back side here. Take these corners off. And as you know, we'll come back and we'll fine tune it all, but right away I know that's going to come in. Okay, now on here, we got our two lines here still. We got our rough hands, but we want to take these fronts off. So right between these two lines, Let's make our little little dent there, little big angle cut. See that? That's the bottom of the chest. It's so gonna come up. See that? All right. And then we'll just take these corners right off of here. Now, before we go on, let's take this chest here. Let's just kind of put some little angles down. Take these sharp corners off here. All right, see that? Take the points off of here. We've got some, uh, <laughs> some flatter than others. Like, I added an apron on this one, so she's not too chesty. Some of them are ridiculous, but uh, hey, I can't make the faces very good, but if you give them the uh, features, they'll be unmistakable as women. <laughs> so, that's where we are. Alright. I'm going to take these straight cuts that we made here. Let's bring them back on a nice angle. Alright. See that? Nice. Same on the side, nice long angles. Back. Looks nice and nice and clean. Alright. And we're just about ready to cut that pocket in there. Alright. So I'm just gonna go each way a little bit of an angle. Alright. I'm roughed in. That. And now we're going to go from that angle, that line, sorry. And just like we did on the back side, we want this to be the highest point. 
I'm just gonna bring that back up into the shoulder. All right. So where we stuck the elbow in the back, now we're gonna stick the elbow out on the side. All right. Same thing from that line. Just kind of ease that into the into the pocket. All right. Cut that off of there. That pocket will cut that back just a little bit and give a little little nick out of there. All right. Just like so. Now we can see that the elbow is sticking out on its own. Same on this side. And down into the pocket. Run that past. A little chip out of there. bit clean up to do but uh, yeah that's basically it what are we doing this one here so we gave her a little flat plane here flat plane here and then the bottoms whatever you feel comfy with but we'll just take a little little nick off all these planes and there's no reason you don't have to do a flat plane like me you can round all these or do what you like but There is a pretty decently roughed in body. Alright. Let's move up. Up to the head. Now I'm really going to uh, join up these lines a little bit better. All the way down. Alright. And up. Really sticking that front point out so these lines are basically joined All right. if you get a little bit of chipping up on the top side that's okay we're going to remove a lot more still but just this is why I like those center lines they really tell you where where to be at all times so all right so if this is the bottom of our nose hello train let's just cut that bottom of the nose in just so you can see if that's the bottom of our nose our nose is here our eyes are here so you know even here we got lots to to remove still and we can go ahead and get rid of some extra wood here but Okay, bottom of our nose, top of our nose. Now, when we're carving the uh, the women, much smaller noses, much more dainty and smaller noses. All right, so let's uh, let's keep that nose just a little bit smaller, like so, and cut in our little eye shelf here. angle you know what we're doing we've done this before many times all right and that's where we're going to leave it right now because we're going to draw some hair all right so for hair a couple options longer hair bobbed hair we put some hair out front below the hat here same with her Move the hair under the hat but for this case we're gonna go with no hair all right you can as we do this we can uh, you can experiment all you like but we're gonna give her a nice round face kind of from the edge of the shoulder all right 
you don't want to go too skinny some of these like her face is pretty skinny don't don't love that as much so fairly round all right we want the hair over the shoulder really okay can you see that pretty rough but something's off here whatever you do make them the same <laughs> yeah all right I was going to stick my knife in here and work my way around. Same as everything, the deeper that you go the first time, the less chance you're going to have to make all those extra, extra little cuts that could make your carving look not so good. Alright. so bad a little bit long but we can bring that up with the chin a little bit long in the head all right so let's take that chin and cut that chin back each way ideally the same all right now right away let's go from just below that little eye shelf there and let's narrow the top see that get that out of there narrow that temple area just like so All right, that looks better and just to get that uh, hair set we can take that chin and we can just kind of undercut it there and then back with the hair and we'll pop that little chin. and that is where my camera died so hiding her face <laughs> i'll just go over quickly what we missed uh that finished that three corner cut there did the same cut on this side three corner cut and then i just took the top of the forehead here and just put that line around there and just angle the hat back on an angle like so and then just took the hair up to the bottom of the hat. All right. And that's all we missed. I don't think it's really worth redoing the video for uh, drawing a line around a hat and finishing that three corner cut. So anyway, sucks it happened, but it did. And uh, back to the video. And we are back. The camera decided to overheat on me, so I had to pause. But it's like that there. So, let's look at our girl here. All right, so right away, I can tell you that uh, one of the keys to making a nice girl is softer lines. So, our chin does not have to be so harsh. We can uh, soften all these hard lines around here. All right. And just give her a nice round round face no real hard lines all right where's my pencil okay let's give her a uh, smaller nose we'll find we'll fine tune her after but just a smaller little nose all right let's pop those corners off pop the corner off all right we're going to come from the center up on each side. Right. Bring it back. Bring the sides in. Taking the corners off the sides. There. The, a respectable nose. Alright. Clean this up. Alright. Then we're going to take this hard edge off of the here too. So we come across right across the top of the nose, just taking that hard edge off. All right. 
good. So there she is. Let's uh, draw some eyes and a mouth on her. Again, we'll stick with the, the cartoon eyes. There's a little bit of room here. I could have had some hair or something, so the hat could have been down a little bit, but she'll be fine. Alright. Okay. And we're gonna keep our mouth. If this was divide this into three, our mouth is in the top third. So we're just gonna give her a big big smile. Let's start with the mouth. Come in a bit of an angle. Right. Same thing. A bit of an angle. A little bit of space we're taking out. Just like so. Alright. We're going to do a little bit more. Just to give her a little bit more of a mouth. Alright. I'm going to put a straight cut on the end here straight in. I'm just going to take these little triangles out, hopefully, each way. That's the end of the, the end of the mouth, just like that. It's a little triangle. All right, same on this side. Little chips. All right, now that looks kind of Yucky, so I'm going to give her a little bit of a lip here. Very lightly. And I'm going to take that right up into that corner. Alright. Same here. Very shallow. Alright. I'm just going to round that a little bit. And then take that extra off of there. Eyes, sticking her knife in, bit of an angle, come around, down, knife in, and over, one little slice across the bottom, so we can get that little chip out of there, same on this side, slice along the bottom, a little chip. Alright, now just undercut that. If you want to give her eyelids, you can give her eyelids. But... Some pencil lines off of here. All right, let's bring that job one a little bit higher up there. Right. A little bit wider on this side, get some meat off of this cheek. trying to keep it keep her symmetrical All right. All right. Something's wonky. A little bit off of here. Now we're getting there. All right. Let's give 
give her a little bit of a small little indent on the bottom of the chin. A little bit of character. Too much cheek on this side. We got something off here. We'll get her. We'll get her. That's what it is. It's a front flat. Same in the bottom. That's better. Hair. Let's just swoop this all the way around. Right up under that hat. Give her a little little flare out. We're not gonna do it on this one, but you can give her take your V tool and draw in some hair if you want. Okay, now that we know where our hair is, we can see our, our hat is way too, way too uh, thick. But now we know where our center line is too, so we can thin that hat down. And I'm going to make some nice big flat planes here. I'm just going to keep working around until we make a nice point on the top. Alright. And again, you don't have to do this. You, this will work any way you want to do it. If you want to round everything off, if you want to give little uh, folds and bends in the hat, just the, uh, the general idea here for this gnome girl. You need to see anywhere that's thicker. Just trim her down. I think we just about got it. There we go. Now uh, that's just silly to have a point, so I always just kind of take take that off because that's the first thing. As soon as you drop it, it's going to uh, it's going to dent anyway or break so okay we can go around the hat one more time just to make it nice and sharp maybe a little bit of a back back angle on it we're getting there we just spoke got it it's actually a pretty quick project if you're not uh Trying to videotape yourself or follow along once you got it. Like I said, it's taken me like six of these to uh, to get this far, but uh, yeah, now it's it's pretty straightforward. If that cheek was where it belonged, every time I look at her, I think you're lopsided. But all right, a little fuzz in there. Get out of there. Extra little bob on the bottom. Pencil lines. Get that. I like to bring that just so that these kind of just taper out. Take that sharp line. I can take the plane right off the whole back of the arm, right up into the hair. Same on this side. Take that plane off. I do where is she this one here I gave her a little uh, little collar which no big deal either 
Give them a, give them a, I don't know what that is, kind of a nun, nun look or pilgrim, I guess the pilgrim look. One pilgrim look there. Back angle, like so, like so. There, get rid of your fuzzies. All right, now we we'll just go around the whole thing. Some pencil lines there. See that? See that? That has never been touched. That is the black of wood right here as well. And almost the nose, right? So, pretty much flat like that. So. We'll just go around. Anything that we don't like, we'll clean up. We can give them a little, give her a little crease in the arm each way. bottom of the arm right down into the pocket All right. okay what do we see what do we see I think that's uh that's our rough woman gnome. There was something to look at. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> Here's some eyeballs. All right, now you got something to look at. There she is. A little bit rushed, but uh, that's our general idea. So, like I was saying, face. Keep it round, bit of a chin, and uh, yeah, give her a dress and a chest, and uh, they'll be unmistakable of uh, a woman. You know the uh, gnome book that I always refer to. They say that the woman at 350 years old grows a very light beard, so. Don't be afraid if your gnome's a little bit butch. <laughs> I think we'll call her there. There you go. There's our little gnome. Uh, go ahead and uh, paint them up any way you like. Uh, I'm going to do it the same way I do in my other painting videos. And uh, yeah, but don't be afraid to uh, mix it up. This is just your basic blueprint for the uh, the frame of the woman. And uh, you can change their hair and change their round face, skinny face, bigger boobs, smaller, you know, up and down, big butt, little butt, aprons, dresses. It, mix and match you can do whatever you like so have fun with it and uh be safe and uh yeah that's a fun little curve but before i go i cannot forget to thank the uh people that have bought me a coffee and bought purchased merch this week i got new merch that uh i got in the mail this week and i thought i might as well show you i love that water bottle and a coffee cup and uh, a sticker so Thanks to those who bought me a coffee and uh, have supported the channel by buying merch. Always appreciated. And uh, yeah, we'll be back soon with uh, another video. So thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, catch you next time. See ya.